What's up, Grand Star Legion? It's your boy, CD Rom 1019, and we're back playing some more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And the music seems awfully creepy. I gotta- I'm getting some bad vibes. Let's advance the plot. We're here at Bean Bean Castle, and we're being denied the entrance. Can't just waltz on in here, town was attacked. Could happen again. Lady Lima was instructed, to, uh, was instructed no one enter the castle. Stoic Steiner must explain your name and motives. We're saying we're Mario Brothers. Luigi who? I have no idea. <laughs> no one knows who Luigi is. Poor Luigi. Really, I'm Mario, then prove it. There's my world-famous jump. No mistaking it. This guy's really Mario? Can't be certain. <laughs> what business would Mario and the other guy have at this castle? Oh, oh I see. Gotcha. What do they want? No clue. <laughs> Alright, enough. Regardless of all the nonsense, you may not enter, be gone. Pr prince Beasley's Rose, are you friends of the Prince? Yes! I think we uh, might not let these guys inside. Taking account that Rose and your wacky story, we can allow you to end. Alright, into the castle we go. Chamber room's locked. Actually, let me go down a room. Can't go that way. Oh, okay, nothing to see here. Just want to go this way. Oh, this poor soul's down. Well, Master Mario and Master Luigi. Lady Lima, highest of the ladies at the court. He was told me you're indeed Mario and Luigi, the superstars. Yes, I can't deny that jumping's the hallmark of Mario and Luigi, a legend. What are you trying to tell me? Do speak up. <laughs> oh, such ruckus. Speak in softer voices. Hear me, as you saw, the town is in ruins, the castle's under strict guard. I can't allow suspicious pairs you to meet the queen. Longest serving lady of the court, I must act in the interest of safety. So she opened a trap door and set us down here. Hear my words. If you two are indeed the Mario Brothers, you must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. If you may fix it, you might meet the queen. Okay. So, we're down in the sewers. We need to repair the plumbing. And we've got our hammers. Come on. Oh, Luigi's at the bottom. Duh. I knew that. Oof. Luigi, got, uh, Luigi gets a level up. Luigi's probably gonna need a power buff, but he didn't get any speed this level, so let's upgrade his speed a little bit. Hey, there's a good bonus. Alright. Set this down. We'll start attacking some of these spinies. We're still under... We're, we're still, you know, attacking everything that moves. We need as many level ups as we can get. Ooh, they're really dizzy. Whoops. Put down the hammer. I don't know why that happened. Okay, they're a little low on health, so I'm going to give the brothers a pair of nuts here. Just to boost their health a little bit. There we go. Can't attack him from a higher plane. Man, I'm 
man, Mario's getting real lucky. A lot of a lot of critical hits. Okay, that lets the water flow, and that opens the door here, which has a fly in front of it. that by accident. Sometimes the jump gives more damage than the hammer does. It's really strange. I don't know how the damage calculation in this game works. This one's trying to get away from me. But uh, starting with a hammer, a lot of the times is a great idea because sometimes it can, it can stun just like it has here. Oh, held it too early. I don't know why. Uh, I'll get the hang of this eventually. <laughs> Give Luigi a little boost here. That's stun, though. <laughs> See, in the other games, I think you get a, you get to hold the hammer a lot longer for defense. Ugh. You get a very short window here. It's really strange. It's kind of throwing me off. Mario's got another level up. Okay, Mario could use a few more hit points. All right, not bad. Luigi's leveling up too. Okay, Luigi's got nothing on Stash. Let's upgrade his good luck charm. Hey, good buff. Okay, so this uh, cog here, we're gonna need to spin that. That gets the water flowing through the tank, or through the system. And now we need to beat these down. Oh, that one actually was not related to the water system. I forgot that's how that works. Come here. See, it's, it's good to keep doing this, though, because we're getting a lot of experience per, per these enemies here. We're almost at level 10 already.
Yeehaw! All right. Let's bring these down. See if there's anything over here of interest. I don't think there is. This is the way I came from, so nothing there. Okay, that gets the water flowing. And opens the door. Nothing over this way. Alright, onward. More fights to be had. for me. As you can see, these level ups are starting to help. We're starting to attack on, on higher points. items, get the water start to flow. Okay, that is not the right one. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Ah, should just jump on him. Here, that'll attack and we can kill that thing on a defense. Yep. Killing on a on a retaliation is really is really satisfying. Alright, we're up to level 10. Mario. Mario's got no luck charm bonus, so let's fix that. Alright, good bonus. Luigi's at level 10. Uh Luigi could probably use a little bit more power. Alright, decent bonus. See. Could have sworn that there were. Oh, that's right. We have to go this way. Yep, and then we have to hit this one. All right. Now we can go over here. back two rooms and we'll repair this the plumbing in this room should be over this way and that gets the water flowing and should open the door 
to the next room. Let's fix that one. Opens two doors. And Lady Lima, well that can't be right. To be from the, the Mushroom Kingdom, what are you guys doing here? But we just met you a room ago. Claim that I dropped the purview down here to fix the plumbing? Most perplexing. Why, we were attacked by Kekletter and her fiends have been stuck us here ever since. Perhaps the Lady Lima they encountered was... Kekletta. You have completely and perfectly fallen in my trap. Repairing the plumbing is the key to disabling the Beanstar security system. You must take that Beanstar and fastly run away. Last long I have the Beanstar and Peach's voice. So now Cacletta has both of what she needs. Thinking grant all desires, the Beanstar. I've always remained at this castle guard as guardians, protecting the Beanstar keeping out of evil hands. No doubt about it, Cacletta must be after the Beanstar. It must go, it must not let it fall into the hands of the enemy. Quickly, do not dawdle. Let's check out this room really quick. Here's a couple of items that Lady Lima was chilling with. Lady Lima, I keep mispronouncing the name. Queen Bean safe. Alright, we're about to enter a boss battle, so we're going to save and continue. Alrighty. Whoops. Up the stairs we go. Out of the... into the castle and out of the sewer. We're too late, the Beanstar. Has been taken by Cacletta and Fawful. Making the Beanstar's voice to Cacletta's cake. Yeah, yeah. Haven't bothered to pay a visit to host Queen Bean. I thought you'd have better manners. Wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? Wow, Queen Bean is buff. Talk over the finer points of foreign policy. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, let's fight Queen Bean. Oops, all right, she's gonna attack in shockwaves and that's not great. Okay, should've looked that over first. Okay, so she's got three hit points. She's got a crown on top, believe it or not, that's spiky, so we're gonna attack her arms. Oops. <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when you get overzealous. Huh. Alright, so those require a little bit different timing. I don't remember it being that way. Okay. Now we gotta attack the other arm. Ooh, that's really rough to time, actually. Good thing I got these. Jeez. Okay. Now we can hit her on the head. Uh, so we actually don't want to jump on those because that'll create a new enemy to have, that we have to fight. Uh, so now we're gonna... Hang on. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna just assault her with bros moves. do super bounce bros, but I don't think that'll do any more damage as opposed to regular bounce bros. That's helpful for... It's kind of helpful for fighting more enemies at once than it is one. Still haven't learned super splash, interestingly enough. Uh, although we can try it. Let's see. Ah, that's, that's really hard to time, actually. <laughs> Alright, so now we rinse, repeat, and victory, so we're gonna go back to attacking our arms.
Whoops. Okay. See, so you can already see why uh, I've been upgrading the stash. We're getting a we're getting a bunch of lucky hits because uh, their good luck charm is uh, is is so high right now. Whoops. Shoot. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to play this game. It's a good idea. She's also starting to attack more per turn because, uh, because she's attacking out of desperation. Basically means we're, we've done a, a bunch of damage to her. And there she goes, she's down. And now we're just gonna attack this beanie. And he's gone. <laughs> and that's the clean bean fight. Kekleta forced Queen Bean to eat a belly be uh, a belly bletch worm? Black worm? That's what turned her into this. Our fair kingdom is doomed. How will we ever return her to normal? We'll do some the Mario Bros will do something about it? What can you possibly mean? You speak the impossible. There is no known way to spit out an ingested belly black. Well, except there is one way, that last resort. It sure isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank from the legendary Chocola Reserve from Chucklehuck Woods. So this is the game where Chocola Cola became a thing. You'll go to Chucklehuck? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Well, if you're going to make such bold proclamations, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. Take this bean brooch, head south to the castle Ch Ch Chateau de Chucklehuck. Find the reserve hidden in the woods. Our queen may yet recover. Okay, we've got a bean bean brooch. So, we're off. And we got a bros block here. Okay. Onward. Oh, I forgot. I have the hammers now, so I can do this. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to see them mad at each other. <laughs> okay, in any case. So, we're outside the castle, and the castle is unfortunately still kind of in shambles. Uh, so there's not a whole lot we can still see. Lima, Lima asked that you take this along. So we finally got a badge. So here's our bean badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the suitcase. Equip it. Go to your clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Equip the bean badge. That increases our bros points and our power stat. So it's not a bad badge. And he basically says, sorry, Luigi, I didn't have one for you. Luigi's so depressed that he won't move, so Mario has to move him. <laughs> Alright, in any case, um, the town is still in shambles, so we could go inside this uh, clothing shop here, but they won't be selling clothing or badges. Or will they? Oh, they are! Okay, so we the, the items are basically in, in uh, working now. Uh, so Mario's got a badge on. So let's see what this will do if we put this on Luigi. So, the castle badge will increase power, will do nothing to bros points. Or we could put this P badge on instead, which will increase, uh, a badge for tourists. So taking, putting either of these on Mario seems kind of stupid. Um, we can take this P badge and give it to Luigi. Perfect, now they both have a badge on and they both have an increased, uh, they both have an increased power stat. Actually, let's take a look at clothes real quick, because we should probably get some. Um, these blue jeans can only be worn by Luigi. Whew. That's a good idea, actually. Uh, these bean trousers from Ho Trendy Pop Pants Popular in Hoo Hoo Village. Uh, 36, 38. So, 30, 43, 37, 29. So, what might be a better strategy here? We could, we could get these uh, these jeans or these pants that are uh, equipable only to the respective brother, and that would buff uh, the defense on both sides. But what might be a better idea here 
is if we get two pairs of these bean trousers and then equip them to Mario and Luigi, uh, that'll increase health on both sides and their defense. So there we go. So now we got increased defense and health. Um, so we don't need anything else here. And actually, wait a minute. That guy's the item shop clerk, so let's talk to him. Okay, cool. So we can get items from here. We have 45 mushrooms, 17, 17 syrups, and we have zero refreshing herbs. Let's get a few of those. Wow, they're expensive. Uh, we don't need a whole lot. Um, could use a few more syrups, though. All right. So we're properly stocked up for now, and this is gonna, this is all gonna change. More items are gonna be coming to the store later, but in any case, we need to go to Chateau de Chucklehuck in Chucklehuck Woods. So let's head over there. Okay, so reading the sign, Chateau de Chucklehuck is south of the castle. Uh, so let's, uh, we can still work on attacking anything that moves. We'll still get some decent experience from doing so. You can already see the good luck charm and the increased power stat doing its work. So it's great that we have those. Hey, hey. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. So these, uh, the power stats doing the, and the badges doing their job. It's great. Taking these guys down a lot easier. Okay, I believe the Chateau is, well, we gotta go down some more. Oh, come on. Wonderful. So Luigi, I think, has a bit more power than Mario right now. Let's take a look at the stats. Oh, he does. He's definitely got more power, and that's because of uh, the P-Badge that he's wearing. Uh, but that's alright. It, it, that's, you know, is what it is. Those stats will are, are probably gonna increase and decrease a bunch because uh, this is still just the beginning of the game, and... Uh, there's going to be a bunch more uh, badges and stuff, and different clothes to wear. So, I'm not all that worried right now that Mario is weaker than, than Luigi in terms of uh, attack power. That'll probably change a couple times. Just wait, uh, there's... One of the reasons the speedrunners still like to play this version over, I guess, the, um... The remake, I mean, not only because they is it harder to capture on the remake, but um, the mush badge is still uh, apparently broken in this version, and we're going to attempt to see if we can get it. So, yeah, so oddly enough, we have to have to spin over that ledge to get to the entry to uh, Chateau de Chucklehawk, or Chucklehawk Wood, Woods, rather. Okay, and these guys uh, let us in now that we show them the bean brooch. Enjoy a taste of the full-flavored cola while you're here. Okay, so... Ugh. Alrighty. Oh, go this way. So, they're starting to give us less experience per per kill, and that's kind of because we've we've leveled kind of high at this... Oh, or we've done some decent leveling. In fact, let's take a look at how much experience we'll get after this battle. Because <gasps> it might not be worth it to keep fighting them anymore. Four? Alright, so... It's not at one yet, but it's it's kind of... It's kind of, um... Losing, uh, its effectiveness. Okay, we've made it to Chateau de Chucklehuck, so this is probably a good place to stop for now. When we come back, there'll be boss fights and more, and until then, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out the YTR forums for more YTR and GSL goodness, and if you haven't had enough of me, check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. 
I try to stream whenever I can. So thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye.